what is up guys EJ here back with another video and today it's going to be my blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and drama part 2 um, so last time we finished with the D's starting off with the E's up first we have East of Eden uh, from 1955 uh, to this special edition of course one of the handful of uh, James Dean films with uh, Raymond Massey and Julie Harris up next we have An Education from 2009 uh, fantastic film uh, great performance by Carrie Mulligan what's happened to her in the last few years I haven't seen her in a while uh, Emma Thompson wonderful Peter Sarsgaard Alfred Molina uh, Olivia Williams to name a few up next we have uh, Elephant uh, 2002 film directed by Gus Van Zandt yeah really uh, hard movie to watch of course about a high school shooting up next we have uh, The Elephant Man from 1980 um, yeah great film starring Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt um, I believe it's coming out on Criterion um, in the next month or two if it hasn't already just come out looking forward to picking that up up next we have Elizabeth uh, from 1998 yeah early starring role for uh, Kate Blanchett at the time Jeffrey Rush um, and uh, Joseph Fiennes wonderful I don't have the sequel, uh, Elizabeth the Golden Age. It was fine, but I didn't feel it was necessary at the time. Up next, we have uh, Elma Gantry from 1960 with uh, Burt Lancaster and uh, Gene Simmons. Up next, we have Enigma uh, from 2001. Yeah, really good film about the uh, uh, decoding machine during uh, the war. Special edition with uh, Kate Winslet. Uh, Do Gray Scott, Jeremy Northern, uh, Saffron Burroughs. Like that film quite a bit. Up next, we have Escape from Alcatraz from 1979. Fantastic film uh, starring Clint Eastwood. Um, yeah, one of my favorites. Up next, we have uh, Evelyn uh, from 2002. Really good film um, starring Pierce Brosnan, Aidan Quinn, uh, Juliana Margulies really heartfelt great movie up next we have uh, the fabulous Baker Boys uh, from 1989 with uh, Jeff Bridges M Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, Bo Bridges of course up next we have uh, Ilya Kazan's uh, Facing the Crowd from 1957 uh, starring Andy Griffith uh, Patricia Neal again this this just came out on Criterion I tried to pick it up during the uh, Barnes & Noble sale but they were always out of out of uh, out of they didn't have it in stock up next we have fail safe from uh, 1964 uh, with uh, Henry Fonda and uh, Walter Matthau uh, special edition yeah really underrated uh, Sidney Lumet film this I was able to pick up on Criterion Collection uh, which uh, uh, this past month up next we have fair game on blu-ray from 2010 really good film um, uh, yeah, starring Naomi Watson and Sean Penn, um, directed by uh, Doug Lyman. Up next, we have Far and Away, uh, Von Howard film from 1992, of course, with uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Great cinematography in that film. Up next, we have uh, The Favorite, uh, one of my <laughs> favorite films of uh, 2018 with. Uh, Fantastic performance by Olivia Coleman, um, Emma Stone, just wonderful, Rachel Weiss, um, and uh, Nicholas Holt, just great in that movie. Up next, we have Finding Forrester uh, from 2000. Yeah, one of one of Sean Connery's last great uh, performances, if you ask me. Really enjoyed this film a lot. Up next, we have Finding Neverland. Um, about uh, J.M. and Barry and the uh, creation of uh, Peter Pan, of course, with uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Kate Winslet, Julie Christie, and Dustin Hoffman. Really wonderful film. Up next, we have uh, Five Easy Pieces, uh, 1970 classic with uh, Jack Nicholson. Um, not a fun film to watch most of the time, but still a great, great performance by Nicholson. Up next we have Flight uh, from 2012, of course, with uh, Denzel Washington. Yeah, not bad. I think I liked uh, Sully better. That was film similar, similar subject. 
a lot of alcoholism in uh, flight. Speaking of Tom Hanks, uh, Forrest Gump, of course, in 1994, uh, with uh, Robin Wright Penn, Gary Sneeze, just absolute classic. I love this film. Um, even though I, there's two other films from 1994 that I think I should have won Best Picture ahead of Forrest Gump. But there you have it. Up next, we have uh, Founder, or The Founder, sorry, with uh, Michael Keaton. Um, yeah, really good film about uh, Ray Kroc, uh, the founder of uh, McDonald's. Uh, Laura Dern, always like her, great actress. Uh, I think that was from like 2016 or 15. Up next, we have uh, Foss Nixon uh, from uh, 2008, I believe, with uh, yeah Michael Sheen and Franklin and Jella. Really good, good supporting cast. Uh, Kevin Bacon, um, Rebecca Hall, Toby Jones, uh, Oliver Platt, Sam Rockwell, always solid. Okay, up next we have uh, Fruitvale Station from 2012 with uh, Michael B. Jordan and Octavia Spencer. Yeah, a very timely film um, about a young African-American man um, who gets killed by a transit cop on the Oakland uh, uh, train station. Up next we have Gandhi from 1982 with uh, Ben Kingsley, of course, uh, 25th anniversary edition. Up next, we have uh, Gentleman's Agreement, as I like to say, or uh, Gentleman's Agreement, obviously, from 1947 with uh, Gregory Peck, uh, Dorothy McGuire, and John Garfield. Up next, we have uh, Giant, uh, two-disc special edition from 1956, another wonderful film with Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Rock Hudson, and Jimmy Dean, of course. Up next, we have uh, Girl Interrupted from uh, 1999. Fantastic performance by uh, Angelina Jolie. Uh, won her the Best Supporting Actress that year. Uh, Winona Ryder, wonderful as well. Up next, we have uh, Glengarry Glen Ross. Great film from 1992, of course. ABC, Always Be Closing. 10-year uh, anniversary special edition. Alec Baldwin, Jack Lemmon, Ed Harris, uh, Kevin Spacey, Al Pacino. Just a wonderful film. If I can get it back in there, we can continue. Up next, we have Gods and Monsters. Um, yeah, great film by uh, Bill Condon with uh, Ian McKellen, uh, Lynn Redgrave, and Brendan Fraser. Sorry about the shadows and the glare, because I'm, I'm right in the corner here. Up next, we have uh, Gone Baby Gone. Um, yeah, first film directed by Ben Affleck. Um, with uh, Casey Affleck, uh, Michelle Moynihan, Morgan Freeman, um, and uh, Ed Harris. Uh, next we have uh, Gone with the Wind, uh, four disc collector's edition, of course, from 1939, absolute classic, uh, with uh, Vivian Lee and Clark Gable. Uh, the late, great uh, Olivia de Havilland, who just passed away recently. Also, also uh, a uh, alumni of my high school, Olivia de Havilland. Up next, we have uh, Good Night and Good Luck uh, from 2005. Yeah, really good film. I think this was um, directed by George Clooney, if I recall. Um, yeah, David Strathairn, Patricia Clarkson, wonderful actress. Uh, Clooney himself, Jeff Daniels, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Frank Langella. Up next, we have uh, Changeling from uh, 2008. Yeah, good uh, Clint Eastwood film with uh, Angelina Jolie and John Malkovich. Up next, we have uh, Good Will Hunting from uh, 1997, one of my favorite films of the 90s, absolutely, with uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, of course. Um, great performance by Robin Williams. Mini Driver, love her, especially in this movie. Um, yeah, just a great film. Cole Hauser, Casey Affleck as well, wonderful. Up next, we have uh, Goodbye, Christopher Robin. Um, yeah, out of the uh, two... Uh, Winnie the Pooh films that came out recently, this and just Christopher Robin, I like this one better, with uh, Domhnall Gleeson and uh, Margot Robbie uh, from uh, 2017. Up next we have Grand Canyon, uh, Lawrence Kasdan film from uh, 1991 I believe with uh, Kevin Klein, Danny Glover, really good film. Uh, 
Um, next, we have uh, Grand Hotel uh, from 1932 with uh, Greta Garbo and John Barrymore, Joan Crawford, uh, Wallace Berry, and uh, Lionel Barrymore. Up next, we have uh, The Grapes of Wrath, uh, one of the best films of the uh, 1940s uh, with uh, Henry Fonda uh, from 1940, to be exact. Ugh. Up next, we have uh, The Greatest uh, Show on Earth, uh, yeah, produced by uh, Cecil uh, B. DeMille uh, from 1952 with uh, Jimmy Stewart, uh, Betty Hutton, and Charlton Heston. Up next, we have Green Book, uh, Oscar-winning film, of course, from 2018. Absolutely loved it with uh, Viggo Mortensen and Mahashala Ali. Um, Linda Cardellini, love her. I've mentioned that a few times over the last couple years. Ah! Dropped one. <laughs> I wonder what that was. Um, okay, up next we have uh, The Green Mile from 1999. Fantastic film. Uh, directed by Frank Darabont with uh, Tom Hanks and uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, David Morris, wonderful as well. Okay, up next we have, uh, I think it's Greenberg. Yeah, Greenberg uh, with uh, Ben Stiller from uh, 2010 and uh, Greta Gerwig, uh, Re-Siphons, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. Decent film. I liked it quite a bit. Okay, up next we have uh, Guilty by Sp uh, Suspicion uh, from 1991. Yeah, really good film uh, starring uh, Robert De Niro. Make sure those stay in place. Alright guys, up next we have uh, Hamlet uh, from 1996, uh, Kenneth Branagh film, um, two disc uh, special edition. Up next we have uh, Hearts in Atlantis uh, from 2001, yeah, underrated film uh, starring uh, Anthony Hopkins, um, yeah, interesting uh, little movie uh, from what I remember. Up next, we have uh, Heavenly Creatures uh, from 1994, early uh, Peter Jackson film, or not early for him, uh, but prior to uh, to Lord of the Rings, of course. Um, early film for uh, Kate Winslet, uh, my favorite actress. Uh, just a really great movie. Up next, we have uh, The Heiress uh, from, I think, uh, 1949 with uh, Olivia de Havilland. Who I just mentioned, of course, uh, Montgomery Clift, uh, Ralph Richardson, directed by uh, William Wyler. Up uh, next, we have uh, The Help. Um, yeah, a great movie with uh, Jessica Chastain, Emma Stone, uh, Octavia Spencer, of course, from uh, 2011, Viola Davis. Up uh, next, we have uh, Henry V. Um, yeah, Kenneth Branagh again tackling Shakespeare uh, from uh, 1989. Up uh, next, we have uh, Hereafter uh, from 2010, I believe. Uh, Clint Eastwood film uh, starring uh, Matt Damon. Really good from what I remember. Ugh. These are stuck in there. Up next, we have uh, Hidden Figures. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite films from 2016 with uh, Octavia Spencer. Uh, Taraji P. Henson, just wonderful. Um, Kevin Costner, Jim Parsons. Great movie about the uh, early days of NASA and the space program. Up next, we have uh, Higher Learning. Uh, from 1995, yeah, great 90s uh, racial tension movie uh, directed by John Singleton with uh, Jennifer Connelly, Ice Cube, Omar Epps, uh, Michael Rappaport, uh, Christy Swanson, Lawrence Fishburne. Great soundtrack, too. Up next, we have uh, Hitchcock uh, from 2012. Yeah, great movie, of course, about the uh, iconic director. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Anthony Hopkins and uh, Helen Mirren, wonderful. Scarlett Johansson, uh, Tony Collette, uh, Jessica Bill. Up next, we have uh, Hollywoodland uh, from 2006. Yeah, really underrated film uh, starring Ben Affleck. Great performance by him, actually, in this. Diane Lane, always love her. Uh, Adrian Brody and uh, Bob Hoskins. Up next, we have uh, Hotel Rwanda, of course, uh, from 2004. Uh, Don Cheadle, just wonderful. Sophie Okonedo, uh Nick Nolte, 
Again, tough, tough film to watch at times, that's for sure. Up next, we have uh, The Hours uh, from 2002. Great uh, cast, Meryl Streep, uh, Nicole Kidman, and uh, Julianne Moore. Uh, yeah, wonderful film. Up next, we have uh, How Green Was My Valley uh, from 1941 with uh, Walter Pigeon, Maureen O'Hara, and Anna Lee. Up next, we have uh, HUD uh, from 1963. Uh, yeah, great Paul Newman film um, with uh, Patricia Neal. Up next, on Blu-ray, we have uh, The 100 uh, Foot Journey uh, from 2014 with uh, Helen Mirren. Um, Om um, uh, Puri, uh, yeah, really good film about food, very charming film, I liked it a lot. Next we have uh, The Eyes of March uh, from 2011, uh, starring uh, George Clooney and Ryan Gosling, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Paul Giamatti, uh, Marissa Tomei, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Evan Rachel Wood. Next we have uh, The Illusionist, the other... Uh, film from 2006 about uh, magic. Uh, yeah, I like this one a lot as well with uh, Edward Norton and Paul Giamatti, uh, Jessica Bill. Up next we have uh, The Imitation Game uh, from 2016 with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Kira Knightley. Uh, up next we have In America. Uh, yeah, really good film about Irish uh, immigrants. Um, from uh, 2003 with uh, Patty uh, Considine and um, um, what's her name? Samantha Morton, uh, Jamon Hunsu, really good in this. Up next, we have In the Name of the Father uh, from 1993. Great performance by Daniel Day Lewis, of course, Emma Thompson. And up next, we have uh, Inherit the Wind uh, from 1960, absolute classic with uh, Spencer Tracy, uh, F Frederick March, and Gene Kelly. All right, guys, moving on. Up next, we have uh, The Insider, a uh, fantastic film directed by uh, Michael Mann, of course, uh, from 1999 with uh, Russell Crowe and Al Pacino. Uh, yeah, just a great movie. A little tight here. Okay. Up next we have uh, Jay Edgar uh, from 2011. Another Clint Eastwood film. Man, he's been so prolific in the last 15-20 uh, years. I've got a lot of Clint Eastwood directed films. Uh, with uh, Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, really good film about Jay Edgar Hoover. Let's put that up there so we can um, work a little bit freely here. Up next we have uh, The Joy Luck Club uh, from 1989. Uh, film produced by Oliver Stone. That's interesting. Didn't really think of him when it came to that film. Okay, up next we have uh, The Judge uh, from 2014, I believe, with uh, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Robert Duvall. Up next we have uh, Judgment at Nuremberg uh, from 1961. Uh, great film, uh, special edition with uh, Spencer Tracy, Burt Lancaster. Marlena Dietrich, Judy Garland, Maximilian Schell, uh, Montgomery Clift. Uh, next we have uh, Julie and Julia. Uh, yeah, fun movie about Julia Childs, of course, with uh, Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. Um, Stanley Tucci, wonderful. Uh, I, I like uh, the half that's more about um, Julia Childs starring Meryl Streep and Stanley Tucci as opposed to Amy Adams going through her uh, cookbook sort of a film split in two in that way okay up next we have uh, Julius Caesar uh, from 1953 I believe with uh, Marlon Brando, uh, John Gilgood uh, James Mason uh, Deborah Kerr up next we have uh, The Killing Fields uh, from 1984 yeah great film uh, with uh, Hyangus Noor won an Academy Award for his performance. Uh, Sam Waston, Craig T. Nelson. Up next, we have uh, The King's Speech uh, from 2010. Um, yeah, Oscar winning uh, film, of course, with a uh, great performance by Colin Firth, uh, Jeffrey Rush, and Helena Bonham Carter. 
Up next we have uh, Kinsey. Um, yeah, really good film uh, from 2003, I want to say. I could be wrong on that. It might be 2006. Uh, Liam Neeson, uh, Laura Linney, wonderful film about uh, the, uh, the sex doctor. I believe there's a TV show about this as well. Um, up next we have uh, King's Row uh, from 1941 with uh, Anne Sheridan, Robert Cumming, uh, Cummings, uh, Ronald Reagan, and uh, Betty Field. Up next we have uh, Kramer vs. Kramer, uh, Dustin Hoffman vs. Meryl Streep of course uh, from 1979, wonderful film. Up next we have uh, Labor Day uh, from 2013 with uh, Kate Winslet and uh, Josh Brolin. Um, yeah, really good film. Up next we have Leaving Las Vegas uh, from 1995. Fantastic performance, of course, by Nicolas Cage, Elizabeth Shue. Great film about alcoholism. <clears throat> uh, next we have uh, The Last uh, Picture Show from 1971. Fantastic film uh, with uh, Timothy Buttons, Jeff Bridges, uh, Ellen Burstyn. Uh, Cloris Leachman, Randy Quaid, and uh, Sybil Shepard. Up next we have uh, Legends of the Fall uh, from 1994 with uh, Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins, of course, Aidan Quinn, Julia Ormond. Up next we have uh, Less Than Zero uh, from 1987 with uh, Andrew McCarthy and uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Jamie Gertz. Sort of a... Uh, Precursor to uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s own troubles in his personal life. Um, up next, we have uh, Life is Beautiful um, or uh, La Vita y Bella, uh, Roberto Benigni's sort of uh, star making hit uh, from 1998. Heartbreaking film, um, absolutely wonderful. And he hasn't really been heard from since, if you ask me, uh, but that's a great film. Okay, up next we have uh, The Life of David Gale uh, from 2003 with uh, Kevin Spacey, Kate Winslet, and Laura Linney. I know a lot of people didn't care for this film, but I loved this movie. I thought the ending was fantastic and a um, great film about the uh, death penalty and sort of um, issues that could pose if, uh, if you're not totally certain of uh, the circumstances about that. Uh, up next, we have uh, Lifeboat uh, from uh, 1944, uh, Alfred Hitchcock film, uh, special edition. Ugh. Up next, we have Lincoln uh, from 2012, uh, film directed by Steven Spielberg, of course, with uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, Sally Field, Tommy Lee Jones. And uh, last but not least, for uh, this part two, we'll end right here. We have uh, The Lion in Winter uh, from 1968 with uh, Peter O'Toole and uh, Kathleen Hepburn. So that is uh, Drama, part two. Uh, next will be part three. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I'll see you. Bond. James Bond.